And finally, now the third type of variation question is when they ask for percentage changes. Okay, so how do we uh, tackle this problem? First, let's translate this equation. So Z varies directly as X and directly as Y square. Okay, and they are asking us to find the value of Z. So what we need to notice is we need to make the thing they're asking us to find as the subject but in this case it's already the subject because z is alone so z is already the subject so next what you need to do is when we do percentage change questions uh, the shortcut method for mcs okay we will ignore the value of k okay we will not care what k is because k doesn't change k is a constant so we only will deal with the things that actually changes okay they're telling us that oh x is gonna decrease by 50 and y is gonna increase by 20 so in terms of percentage change uh, once we uh, write down the change for x we don't even need to write down the x anymore so for the x is 1 minus 50 percent okay so we're not we're gonna skip writing the value for x y is increased by 20 percent okay and it's y square and for that reason you have to square the value for 1 plus 20 percent and all you do now is to put this two values in the calculator one by one so if you type that in you should get 0 0.72 as your answer okay so once you see this answer all you need to do is the answer in this case is 0 0.72 minus 1 and then times it by 100 okay so that's for the percentage change part you minus 1 and then times 100 and you will see that it's negative 28 so negative for the decrease and 28 is the answer you're looking for so it's a decrease by 28 percent b okay let's do one more let's do the last one 13 uh, write down the equation first so a varies so just, just don't use a variation sign just use equal k directly as b inversely as square root c again because k is a constant we just ignore that uh, but watch out now we are asked to find b so that means we want to make b the subject and that requires us to multiply the a with the square root of c. Okay, so rearrange that b is the fact uh, is the subject of the equation. Let's now apply the changes from the question. So a is decreased by fifteen percent. So a is one minus fifteen percent. And C is increased by 96%. So for the C value, is 1 plus 96%. But the C value is in a square root, so you need to place it underneath a square root. And all we need to do now is to find what that answer is. So that answer, if we do it on the calculator, times 1.4 it's 1.19 and again for the percentage change you minus 1 and times it by 100 so you get 19 so since the answer is positive so it's increase and it's 19 so it's 19 percent so the answer is a so that's all you do for these three types of variation questions